As a high school teacher, understanding the polylegal theory has been so helpful. In schools these days and in offices, there is a huge focus on collaborative working. Yeah, and I think this doesn't work for some. Margaret, that would not have worked for me. Yeah, Margaret, growing up and being in school, I just wanted to be left alone. Just let me do my work. I don't want to collaborate with anybody. So that would not have worked for me. But if we can help with safety anchors, et cetera, we can help kids navigate. I, I, I agree. I definitely agree. I think that I haven't really, um, Mercedes and I, Mercedes was the co-host of the, the uh, Stuck Not Broken podcast for, for a while with me. Um, but uh, so she and I developed something for our school district because we worked together and out, outside of the podcast and whatnot. We just worked together. So she and I developed something for our school district. It's a trauma-informed education thing for our school district. And we, we did one, we only presented it once, but it's trauma-informed, but for distance learning on how to connect with kids and help them regulate even through distance learning. And it was really fun. It was a really good presentation. Teachers seemed to like it a lot. And it focused more on utilizing little safety anchors, utilizing humor, like planned humor, um, brain breaks. And so there would be like increments of teaching and then little brain breaks that had more of a collaborative group. Not like small group, but it's more of like a class participation where a teacher would play a piece of music or tell a joke, like a planned joke. Um, but the, the teacher would do these little, or like a sensory thing, would do these things that the class could participate on together and then share, this is what happened within me, if they wanted to. Like, this is what happened with me. I felt more of, you know, it, we recommended they use the polyvagal ladder or, or just at least the terminology of the polyvagal ladder. And kids would have an opportunity to say that when I listen to that piece of music, this is what happened within me. And there was no, like beyond that, it was just, it was just a moment to kind of check in with the self. And even if the kids weren't aware of it, the point was just to, let's take a moment, take a break from our, our, our academics and let's do a quick reflection. Like, how do we feel when we listen to this music or when I tell this corny joke or when we squeeze a sensory object, maybe like, how do we feel? And it's just an opportunity for everyone to share. This is how I feel. And just hearing that from each other, I think is very connecting. Um, but it's also what looking inward is very grounding. And then, okay, let's go back to our lesson. So these, we kind of recommend these brain breaks, these sensory and other kind of brain, brain breaks to help build class cohesiveness, um, to share kind of how things feel. I think I could work in person just as well too. I think it'd actually be a lot better. Yeah. Noticing what's happening within them and just those little moments of noticing and not just for students, but for all of us. Just those moments of noticing like what's happening within us as we do things is, uh, I think it's ventral activating in and of itself. I think it's grounding in and of itself, at least for that moment. And then we just build, uh, hope, practice that, and hopefully we can do more and more of that. I don't specifically address safety anchors with my students, but I try to make the classroom have physical options for groups versus individual. Love it. God, I, I would have loved that. <laughs> I would have loved that, Margaret. I'd say, kick rocks. I'll be over here <laughs> on my own, doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah, help the kids notice what's happening in their bodies when they're getting anxious. That's great. That's awesome. I, I would really recommend. Yeah, I'm not a teacher, so just just my thoughts. But uh, I would, and I think it's really important that as a therapist, I recognize I'm not a teacher, and but I do think that I have information that teachers could totally run with and like. I, I kind of view it as meeting in the middle with the teachers that I work with. Like, here's some thoughts that I have. And the teacher's like, okay, I can do that. This one's stupid. This one's great. And I'll, I'll run with that. And, and I think teachers are pretty creative um, generally and can adapt these ideas to, to, uh, to what works best in their classroom. Plus, teachers know the demands of curriculum, the demands of admin, the demands of what the state needs for how many minutes to do blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, I couldn't manage all that. Yeah, so that, that's great. Help the kids noticing what's happening in their bodies when they're getting anxious. That's really good. But I, I think having those, having those moments throughout class where you're directing them to check in with themselves in a safe way, I think that could be really helpful. I think that could be really, really helpful. And then, and then, at least initially, and I'm just brainstorming here, at least initially to share out as, as a class for, for whoever wants to, 
like this is how I felt. I felt more um, nervous when you played that music. That music made me feel more energized. And for the class to be able to have just a couple minutes to share, like this is what happened within me. And then for other people to gain new language, to learn about each other. Um, and it, it's a pretty safe way. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of room there for, because then my mind goes like, okay, who's going to bully who? Who's going to make fun of who? <laughs> I just sort of anticipate that's going to happen. But I think that's a um, pretty generic, pretty safe way to just to check in with how you feel, to share out to the class if you want to. And then as the year goes on, if that goes well, then you could take those brain breaks and apply them to a small group learning, small group discussion, maybe. Just thoughts, just putting them out there.